While reading the newspaper, Pratap showed a report to his senior Sanjay which talked about avoiding the small cap and mid cap shares since there seemed to be a bubble building up in these stocks. However, the report in the newspaper rejected this idea. Which report are you talking about? asked Sanjay. Pratap said that it was a report by Nuvama Wealth Management. Sanjay added that a few days back there was a report by Kotak Institutional Equities which had also displayed concerns about mid cap and small cap shares. And he had given his advice about avoiding these stocks based on that report. Now, all of this left Pratap very confused. He had no idea what to do, where to invest. Sanjay showed Pratap a report from Kotak Institutional Equities released on September 11th. Pratap here allocates approximately 60% of his portfolio to mid cap and small cap shares. In the report, the Broking House had removed coverage on all the shares in their universe due to a lack of conviction in the mid-cap shares. However, this week, another Broking House, Nuvama Wealth Management, stated in their report that there is currently no bubble-like situation, at least not in the mid-cap shares. Now, Pratap is confused about whether he should sell his small and mid-cap shares in his portfolio or keep them. Let's help Pratap get over this confusion. In the past six months, while the Sensex and Nifty have provided returns of around 15 to 16.5 percent, during the same period, the BSE Midcap Index has increased about 35 percent, and the BSE Small Cap Index has registered an increase of approximately 38 percent. After significant gains in small and mid-cap indices, there is a debate about whether this trend is sustainable or not. In other words, will the rally in small and mid-cap shares continue? Kotak Institutional Equities and Nuvama have different perspectives on small and mid-cap shares. First, let's understand the arguments presented in the reports by Kotak Institutional Equities and Nuvama. Then, we'll discuss what to do with small and mid-cap shares. Kotak Institutional Equities believes that the recent surge in the small and mid-cap shares is primarily driven by investor enthusiasm or irrational exuberance. Expectations for future returns on these shares have also increased significantly despite no changes in the fundamentals of these companies. While fundamentals in most sectors have not seen significant changes, the participation of the inflows and the new retail investors in mid-cap and small-cap funds have boosted market sentiment. According to Kotak, some of the sector-favoured shares associated with institutional investor consumptions have underperformed, meaning that they have provided lower returns. Demand related to consumption has been weak. Additionally, the valuation of these shares are either high or have reached historic highs. In fact, after better than expected results in the first quarter of FY24, both foreign and domestic institutional investors began buying these shares aggressively. The appeal of these shares also increased due to the strong outlook for the Indian economy because during periods of economic growth, small and mid-cap shares tend to perform better, which is attractive to investors who are seeking higher returns. Experts at Kotak Institutional Equities believe that most of these shares are currently priced with a significant positive discount, meaning that their prices have already been influenced. Therefore, they don't see sustained bullishness in these shares at their current levels. While some of these shares have had an impressive historical performance, their future outlook may not be as favourable. Some shares appear to have a promising future, but their historical track record is far less impressive. And some shares neither have a strong historic performance nor a promising future. Retail and institutional investors' new favourites among small and mid-cap shares include companies in the capital goods, defence, electronics manufacturing services EMS, railways, real estate and renewable sectors. However, Kotak believes that in the last three to six months, these shares have delivered strong returns due to the broader investment narrative. Kotak expects the investment cycle in these sectors to remain positive, but it's worth noting that most of these sectors fall under the business to government B2G or the business to business category. Due to weak execution and government track records, there isn't a high level of confidence in the quality of these shares. So therefore, revenue and profit expectations for companies in these sectors may be overly ambitious. 
On the other hand, Nuvama, the other broking house, believes that there is currently no bubble-like situation in at least small cap and mid cap shares. However, investors should remain cautious as there isn't an expectation of significant outperformance. There are two reasons for that. First, many of the discounted small and mid cap shares that were downgraded from the fourth quarter of FY23 have already seen a rally since June. Second, these shares have seen an increase in valuation premiums compared to giants and their one year forward price to earning multiple is higher compared to the 10 year average PE. The PE multiple indicates how many times a company's share or an index is trading in the market relative to its earning per share. According to Nuvama, companies such as Crompton Consumer, Blue Dart, PI Industry, Mahanagar Gas, UPL, Sterling & Wilson, Teamly Services and Prince Pipes have not participated in this year's rally so far but they sure have triggers to perform exceptionally well in the next two to three quarters. Moreover, Nuvama has also prepared a list of shares that have been performing well, but their earnings growth and certainty are both significantly high. This list includes names like Polycab, KEI Industries, APL Apollo Tubes, Escorts Kubota, Coforge and Sirma SGS. Novama's top mid-cap and small-cap picks include Polycab, Blue Dart, Coforge, Escorts Kubota, Prince Pipes, PI Industries, Bhail, APL Apollo Tubes and Sterling and Wilson. I think uh, one should at least exit partially if not fully uh, from the mid-cap and small-caps because uh, I mean the valuations have really shot up too high. Uh, I mean, currently it's about 24, 25 times one year forward, uh, which has been the highest, at least in the in the in the recent past. And this, I suppose, is only one part of the story because if you see as to why these mid cap and small caps are going up, it is basically a demand supply situation where there's a too much of demand uh, from uh, the uh, your small investors, retail investors, as well as HNIs. Uh, basically because uh, they got these tips and they made money from uh, such mid caps and small caps in the past so they are putting in more liquidity. So it is more of demand because of which these stocks are going up. Somewhere uh, I mean, this cycle stops and I think uh, that's when the unwinding happens and the crack can be large. General elections coming up in the next 7-8 uh, months which actually means that uh, there would be some amount of uncertainty and volatility. And during that time, if we see a correction in the market, I think the mid cap and small caps can actually fall much more. So I think it's a great time to book out to a large extent. See, typically when we buy a mid cap or a small cap for long term, we uh, tend to see whether it can become a large cap. I and mean, that's how you, be, you make multi-baggers in these small and mid caps. So for that, you need to at least see some strains of leadership qualities in that uh, company uh, that it can become leader in that specific sector or sub-sector. So it also depends on as to how you see the growth happening in the sector. That's quite important. Last but not the least, I think uh, you should also uh, ensure that the balance sheet is decently clean uh, because uh, uh, with a highly leveraged balance sheet, it's quite difficult for any company to grow. So we need to look at the cash flows, decent cash flows. The balance sheet should be decently clean. I think that's quite important as far as the mid cap and small cap company is concerned. So in conclusion, it can be said that not all mid cap and small cap shares are in a bubble like situation. Only those shares that have seen significant surges should be approached with caution as investors like Pratap may need to be a bit more vigilant. However, before choosing mid cap shares, it is advisable to pay attention to the criteria suggested by experts.